Did you guys have that same experience? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, then welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So let's just dive right into it. I want to talk about my experiences with the 1.0 and then to update you guys on how the 1.7 is going. So let's start for our new people. Um, I started Wagovi November the 19th and started at 0.25 just like you're doing with the injections. Obviously with the injections, I mean, that's what I'll be taking. <laughs> Um, I've since lost a total of 22 pounds, <sighs> like I can't even believe it, but I'm super excited. I'm still extremely excited about the weight loss journey that I'm on and the fact that this is actually even still on the market. So um, just kind of get into the 1.0. What I've noticed on the 1.0 is that my cravings, and I think I mentioned it in my last video, I have to keep checking my camera because it stopped last time. I mentioned in my last video that the cravings or the injections are getting me from week to week. Before on the 0.25 as well as the 0.5, I noticed that maybe day four or five, I was having cravings again, and I was getting hungry, and I'm like, ooh, you know, that was kind of concerning, like, is this really going to work? But obviously, you know, with the way the scale works with the injections, it's slowly acclimating your body to this injection. So um, if you're getting hungry, just know that more than likely it's not going to last long. So also with the 1.0, I noticed that my cravings are just are just like completely gone. It's hard to even figure out what I want to eat for the day. You know, if you sit around, it's like, what are we gonna eat for dinner? I can't put, I can't pinpoint anything because the cravings that I used to have for breads or like salty things are pretty much gone. And mind you, I'll get like the little miniature bag of chips sometime and I'll just kind of snack every now and again on those, but it's not anywhere near where I just felt like I had to have it in my body. So that part of um, the, the effects of the Wagobi is really exciting for me and it's really helpful for me. Um, what else? Now with the 1.0, I didn't have any headaches and I think I mentioned also before that at first, I started eating more frequently to prevent the headaches, which did help. But now I'm not eating as frequently um, as I was before, and the headaches don't return. So I'm not getting the headaches. So that's something that I'm guessing my body did get used to. Um, now, I do notice that I'm having some bloating. It's like I'm staying bloated a lot. So that's something that was um, different. Um, even though the weight's coming down, and I am using my fitness pal to kind of track my weight. Um, I also wanted to show you guys, and I'll put it here, make sure it's recording, I'll put it somewhere here on the screen, some of the things that I'm eating, um, I'm not counting calories or anything like that, I'm just trying to make healthier choices or things that are just not too crazy, you know, we'll have our Sunday dinner, but again, I think I took some shots of like, this is what I'm eating and this is how much of it I could eat, so... Yeah, every little thing, every little thing I'm just trying to show you. So you'll see that in some of the pictures here. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, the weight loss is coming faster with the 1.0. I noticed most of my weight loss did start to occur once I hit the 1.0 dose. So I started eating less and less, just kind of like I mentioned before. So that is something that you hopefully will notice for yourself. Um, also, I noticed I haven't had a chance to comment on a lot of the things I put in the community tab that I was recovering from pneumonia and that my energy with that was just that fatigue was extra. I still don't even know how I got it. I mean, I work from home most of the time, so I still don't even know how I got it. But the, the fatigue was extreme. So first I'm like, is this this medication? But then when I speak to my doctor, he's like, no, pneumonia can make you extremely fatigued. So I was like trying to get a good feel like now I'm on this 1.0, but no, that wasn't it. The extreme, the fatigue was completely extreme. Um, I've not been able to do any type of workout, like walking around, I would just get winded, have to sit down. Like it was really bad. And I'm like, oh. but again, obviously I'm here feeling much better. Um, I'm not 100% yet in terms of my um, fatigue, 
but it's definitely improving day by day. So uh, what else did I notice? Oh, um, I do try to read the comments as much as I can and respond as often as I can. And that sounds so like YouTuberish, and I'm really not because I do work and I am in school. So, you know, I'm not always able to do it. It may take me a few days, but I am seeing them. And I love what you guys are doing in the comments. Thank you for, you know, being kind and courteous to each other uh, and keeping that same attitude. Like the environment here is like, yes, we got this. You know, we're all sharing our experiences. Some of them are similar. Some of them may be completely different. But in, in the essence of, you know, just being good natured, thank you all for being so kind in the comments and sharing our journeys with each other. So keep up the good work on that. And again, if you are new here, you know, it is definitely a safe space to, you know, share your anxiety about you know taking shots or if this is going to really work um, which leads me to the second thing um, some have mentioned that their insurance is just not covering Wagobi which I'm just like oh my god I hate to even hear that um, I did go in you know how to pay for Wagobi like I literally typed that into Google and when then when I was blah 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 blah, blah I can talk <laughs> and then when I did that it linked me back to the Wagovi site. And one of the things that I saw, and I mentioned it in the comments, was that if you're paying out of pocket for Wagovi, that they'll give you a coupon for like $500 off. Now $500, yeah, that's a lot, but when you're looking at the total cost of Wagovi, it's like, but is it a lot? Like, so I'm hoping that, you know, supply and demand, maybe someone will come out something like an alternative version that will give them a run for their money. It's like, okay, well, we can offer the same results with the same main ingredient for this amount. And then maybe the insurance will cover it. I don't know. It's just weird how the insurance companies works. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I have a coworker who was trying to get on it as well. And same insurance company, and they denied her, which eventually they wind up approving her, but she had to go through all of this red tape just to get it done and I'm like really what is even happening at that level like what is even happening I don't know but I said all that to say if you're on Wagobi keep trying um, or if you're trying to get Wagobi keep trying and hopefully something will work out so and I'm so sorry if you are struggling to get it I know it can be extremely discouraging and I try to keep myself um, with different perspectives and putting myself in other people's shoes. So, you know, if, especially if you decided to make this change and now you can't, you don't have the tools that you need to make that, it can be very discouraging. But I'm here to just say keep trying, look for alternative sources. And if you do find those, please share in the comments. Thank you. Okay, so where am I now? Now I am on the 1.7. So the 1.7, Whoa, the, the 1.7 is not the 1.0. The 1.7 is so much stronger. Um, how can I describe it? How can I describe it? Because I want to be clear. The 1.7 is definitely stronger, but I didn't have any extra side effects. The only other side effect that I was having was like, I could not, I could barely eat anything. And even the thought, like when I was looking at food, it was making me feel sick to the stomach just looking at food. Like, what even is that? Is that a thing? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. Is that a thing? Just the thought of a lot of food was just making me like, you know, like the emoji on your phone. Like, the, it was making me feel like that. I, I don't know. Have any of you experienced just the thought of food was just making you feel like, ooh. Um, so that's the first thing that I noticed on the 1.7. I've only taken one injection, so... You know, if that is the case, then I'm anticipating that I will start to see an increased weight loss at a healthy pace. But I'm anticipating, you know, um, seeing an increase because my goal is 200 or even 199. I don't want to get any small. I don't want to get any smaller than that because um, I just like the way my body looks at that size. It's still healthy, still has some curves. Okay, you're not here for that. But you know, obviously, we want to look good, right? Right? So, guys and gals, like, we all want to look good. So, um, I'm trying to see what else uh, do I need to cover. Oh, I think, I hope I mentioned, I'm just trying to remember my last video. Um, and that was some information that I saw in here saying don't inject it in the same place multiple times. So, arm, leg 
stomach or I'm like moving around. So that's something that when I was kind of scanning, well, not even scanning, I'm just trying to look and see, you know, just kind of read some important things that I can understand because this is science and math. And I'm like, what? I know they say a lot of it is excreted, like when you use the restroom, you know, those sorts of things. I was coming across things that did make sense, like to my mind that I could explain, but a lot of it is just... I don't know. It's, it's hard to understand. So that's why I look just like you for people like how, minus the science, like how is it making you feel? You know, are you having stomach pains? Are you, is your heart racing? Um, are you feeling continuously nauseous? Are you feeling lumps in your neck and throat? Like those are things that um, you want to kind of look out for. Um, oh, and then also um, I just went to the doctor to um, just check my weight, um, check how everything was going. Um, I do have some lab work to get done. So he said every three months they want to check your kidney. So I'll put a little clip of me at the doctor's office too. Hi guys, I just wanted to document my doctor's appointment. I am officially down 19 pounds. If you are new here, the whole point of Wagovi and it work, that it works with your brain and it works with your digestive system to slow down the food um, and then make your brain feel like it is fuller, like that your body is fuller longer. So that's why we, well, we, like I work with Wagovi because I don't. <laughs> that's why the dose starts so small because if you just went straight in with like 1.0, 1.7, you can have a lot of extreme digestive issues because that's the whole point is trying to get your body activated to you know what it does digestively is that a word digestively to your system so yeah that is pretty much much it um there's also another youtuber that i follow who is on it who gives great advice she mentioned and i'll link her channel below she gives some great advice in terms of like if you're a female and you're holding on to water weight and things like that like say if it's around your time of the month um you may hold on to the weight that you should be losing and all of a sudden it'll come off now you know i've had a hysterectomy but i still have some of those um you know headaches or things like that so that even though I'm not having a flow I still have some side effects or not side effects I still have um some what, what, what can I think some PMS so that's something too also why did my hot flashes stop I have not had a hot flash since December and if you know you know what I've not had a hot flash since December I don't even know. I don't even know. But we're gonna we're gonna keep it going with that. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of everything because I don't want this video to be too long. But yeah, if you have any um, suggestions or anything that you guys want me to address in the next video, or there's something more in the videos that you'd like to see more of, please let me know and I will be happy to record on it. As always, thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. And like I always say in my comments, we got this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.